Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. All right, we are in the Delphinus, ready to take on Gaussian's flying fortress, the Hydra. Let's do it. Man, check that thing out. That's huge. It's finally time to face Gaussian. All right, everyone, I'm counting on all of you. Okay, oh man, check that out. Wow, lots of yellow turns. Yeah, this guy's gonna be attacking us non-stop. You can see they give us a chance for the Moonstone Cannon out of the gate, which is virtually impossible. Um, there's like no way you would have, I guess 20, it's not too far off, but you'd have to be pretty leveled up to actually be able to get 20 spirit points on the first turn, so. Uh, we're going to do things a little bit more traditionally here. Um, unfortunately, there's not enough to really focus a torpedo, a cannon, and power up before, so I'm just going to go ahead and power up first. Um, this will also, of course, help our uh, defense out. So um, From there on out, it's a good idea to guard. You can see he has a lot of attacking turns. Basically, yellow means he's going to attack, so um, it could be a little bit dicey, but we can basically guard here. And uh, we'll gain enough spirit between turns that we should be able to use a Moonstone Cannon there on the next round. So let's try it. Now, this one's going to take a while. A lot of the ship battles kind of up to now, especially since we've powered up, have been a little bit disappointing. The enemies have been rather weak, but that is definitely not the case here. I mean, this thing is a giant fortress. We're going to be fighting this thing for a little while. So, you know, this is a pretty large battle, and hopefully it'll be entertaining. You can see even if sub cannons do quite a bit of damage considering we're powered up. I mean, that's, you know, nothing to scoff at. And we missed. Wow, that was a C turn too, wasn't it? Man, oh, that's such a waste. So you can see, uh, yeah, he's going to fire off some of his main cannons. There was the Hydra Ray, which did a little bit less damage. Thankfully, we uh, managed to dodge one of them. But uh, the battle is pretty much just getting started. He can really rack up the damage, especially later on once he really gets serious. Um, for now, it's still just kind of preliminary, but um, he will definitely take the gloves off before too long. And yeah, of course, there's no point in trying to fire um, on either of the last two turns because you're basically retreating, <laughs> so that works. And yes, you can see we have enough for a Moonstone Cannon. Not enough for hardly anything else, though. We've also got a couple red turns coming up next time. So uh, that's a little bit of a pain. Uh, we have a C turn there, so I'm going to use that opportunity, I think, to use one of our gear graces. We don't have many of these left, but uh, we won't be needing them for too much longer, so <laughs> that works. And uh, we'll go ahead and also focus here. And you can see the stronger you get, the less impressive your Moonstone Cannon kind of tends to be. I mean, 30,000 damage we could do with a cannon and a torpedo, you know, with no problem. So, and like I said, the, the regular attacks almost outshine the Moonstone Cannon later on in the game. But, and that's alright, that's still pretty good damage, you know, I'm definitely going to take it. Alright, good, plenty of SP recovery there, that's awesome. Love those gear greases, they're so helpful. And uh, you may have seen, we also have, uh, I don't remember if it was called a thermal, it's like a thermal grease or a thermal something. Um, that'll actually restore your SP to full. So that's something we're going to be using a little bit later. So <laughs> uh, that'll be helpful when the time comes. Right, well, he actually lost us. I'm not sure how that works. He's got guns on every side of that thing. <laughs> Alright, next round, let's see, we've got a couple red turns here, which, when facing the Hydra, you definitely want to guard on red turns. Um, we still have our power-up, thankfully, since we're using the new and improved APO Wax, so we get it for four turns, which is really good. Um, we're going to guard here, and, um, let's see, I should be able to get a torpedo to, yeah, to land there. You can see that's going to be a C turn on either scenario, uh, so that'll help out, give us a little bit extra. Um, and we'll actually, I'm going to guard with Fina, and then we'll do the torpedo here with uh, Gilder, because he's a little stronger. you know, got to get every little inch out of those stats that you can. All 
Alright, so thankfully uh, us guarding really mitigated that damage. That Hydra Launcher can be uh, pretty much a giant pain if it hits you without guarding. And we're taking moderate damage, but again, like I said, we're still pretty much at the start of the battle here. Alright, good. That's awesome damage. I love that. <laughs> so yeah, we're still pretty much at the start of the battle. He's yet to really get things going. But all things considered, we're doing pretty good here at the start, so... I think we had a miss early on, but that's alright. Wow, it's actually really rare for him to take a turn not to fire. That doesn't happen often. Alright, so now we have a choice here. We can either attack the upper part of the enemy vessel or attack the enemy's hull. Attacking the enemy's hull is going to give you um, a little bit extra chance for damage, um, but it's going to make the battle a lot more aggressive. He's going to be able to uh, hit you with some pretty heavy stuff. Uh, since we have plenty of health and we really just want to deal as much damage as we can right now, uh, this is the option I'm going to take. We're going to get that choice at a few different junctures. Um, as you can see, that opened us up with that red turn at the end. But that does give us a couple green turns to sort of breathe in between, so um, that's always nice. We can also... Yeah, we can actually have the same torpedo hit on that turn, it looks like. So you can see we're really um, firing that torpedo in the last round actually really helped out with damage. Um, we can guard here and um, don't really need to focus that much because we've got a lot of SP. So I may just fire another... Uh, actually, we might be retreating. We usually do on the third and fourth turn, so I will just focus there. If you've been paying attention usually on turns three and four is when you're kind of turning around and going back out. Uh, preparing for another pass. I'm pretty excited about turn number two, though. Got, <laughs> got two torpedoes and a cannon. This is going to be super damaging, assuming everything hits. Alright, let's see. Oh man, look at that! 48,000 damage! Wow, that thing's over half gone. Nice. I'd venture to say that's probably the biggest damage number I've gotten on ship battles. Those torpedoes are powerful. You hit two of them and a main cannon with a powered up vice on a sea turn. Oh man, it's like everything is perfect there. Alright, so since we got him down pretty far on health, he should be uh, starting to reveal his big guns pretty soon here. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens after this turn. Oh wow, he used Sacrace on himself, that's interesting. The 8,000 HP isn't really too much, considering we just did 48,000, but I guess that works. Look, the ship's hull fell away, and there's a giant cannon coming out. Uh-oh, looks like Galshin's getting serious now. All right, everyone, it's now or never. Oh, yeah, he's definitely getting serious. Man, check this out. Three, red tur three yellow turns and a red. Oh, man, yeah, this guy is definitely ready to go. And we've also lost our power-up, which is a little unfortunate, so we'll just go ahead and restore it there. Um, definitely want to be guarding on that last turn. I'm also going to go ahead... And, um, actually, I might throw out the complete kit on the next one. Um, we can focus here and guard. Uh, yeah, focus. Again, turns three and four aren't really good for attacking. Now, this is going to be a little bit unimpressive because we don't have our uh, power-up. I kind of failed to pay attention to that, but that's all right. Um, I probably could have used it on one of the previous turns. It doesn't really matter. We'll still be all right. Oh, he was actually guarding that turn, too. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, you you tend to see that in the later battles. If you have a chance for a Moonstone Cannon, they will generally take evasive action themselves. So, you know, kind of smartening up, I guess. Right, there we go. That feels better. Yeah, like I said, this one's a pretty big ship battle. The other ones have gone by pretty quickly, but no, this one's definitely big and drawn out, so... Uh, we're just starting the second half of it as well with that big Hydra Cannon that he's probably going to fire on that red turn. 
So we'll definitely have to see how that goes. Yeah, looks like pretty similar technology to our Moonstone Cannon there. Thankfully, that was only moderate damage since we were guarding again. That really helps. Um, I do probably want to go ahead and throw out a heal, though we're not dangerously close to death or anything. But um, it's going to get a little hairy, as you can see. <laughs> He's really going to ramp up the attacks. So uh, we're not going to waste that with Vice. Um, let's see. Okay, the, the scenario with the C turn would be if you take the less aggressive route. Again, we're going to have a choice between the upper part and the hole. I'm probably going to take the hole so we can do as much damage as possible because we can take it. We got plenty of health, so there's not really a good indication when to attack here. Um, a good thing to do, though, is when they have a red turn to be able to throw a torpedo on them. Uh, that really helps quite a bit. Uh, we'll have Aka. I guess we'll have her just guard because we've got plenty of SP. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, and then we'll throw in our complete kit here and then guard on this turn. So not a lot of offense here, but that's okay. And you can see all these little cannons, they don't do too much damage on their own, but since he attacks virtually every turn, they really start to rack up if you're not careful. So we're all healed up again. We've got plenty of those, so no, we're not really in any danger of losing this battle. <laughs> but it is a pretty cool one to sit here and, uh, you know, duke it out with this guy. Ooh, that one hit us right in the back, too. So yeah, you can see that torpedo did pretty decent damage here. And again, here's going to be our choice to attack the hull or the enemy vessel. Again, the hull is going to open you up to the Hydra Cannon on turn one. So um, if you have the health and you want to deal as much damage as possible, that's the way to go. If you're not sure of yourself and or you're close to dying, attacking the upper part's the safer way. We're going to go for the hull, though. We're going to go for it. Um, you can see we're powered up. We've got full health. We've got plenty of spirit. So uh, we are definitely going to take it to him on this one. Uh, we can also go ahead and get a torpedo for that round. I love doing that. <laughs> it's always fun. Okay, so we've got that. Um, we can guard on the last round. We don't really need to be focusing, so we can be guarding a lot more. And um, I may actually do some... Uh, yeah, we'll just throw off a regular cannon here. Right, now, this is basically the scenario that's going to cause maximum damage on both of us. He's going to hit us with that Hydra Cannon while we're charging up for a Moonstone Cannon, which will do extra damage to us. But uh, the same thing happens in reverse as well. So this is basically the equivalent of that fight with Vigoro where we were just, you know, running straight at each other, firing the cannon. You can see that does a lot more damage. Like I said, this is the really kind of riskier way to go. Um, it's what you want to do, though, if you have a lot of health and you just want to get the damage in. Now, this should do considerably more damage, considering he was uh, taking a big chance on that attack there. So, um, that, that the game kind of factors that in, and we do... Oh, yeah, look at that. 60,000. I guess that's the new biggest number. <laughs> Alright, so this guy is actually just about done. Maybe a couple more attacks, and he should go down. Um, we've got that C turn also coming up soon that we can really concentrate on. And uh, maybe that'll actually bring him down, too. Oh, maybe that did it. Oh, did that finish it? I think it did. Yep, I think so. The enemy ship's been severely damaged and is trying to flee from battle. Gaussian's trying to run away? We can't let him escape. We gotta go after him. Yeah, really, he's gonna run away? Come on, man. You gotta, you gotta stick with your guns, man. You gotta fight. Alright, ooh, we also got a moon cannon from that battle, and that's pretty important.
Alright, I give up. How's that thing still flying? Vice, they're getting away. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Alright everyone, prepare to board the Hydra. We're gonna fight Gaussian face to face. Uh, maybe this wasn't the smartest idea. <laughs> Charging into a cannon-wheeling fortress when, like, on a little lifeboat. Well, alright, I guess it worked out in the end, so <laughs> I won't complain too much. Again, I'm really not sure that was the safest option, but we made it. Uh, apparently Enrique is here too, if we can talk to him. Vice, I'll be waiting here. I've brought plenty of medicines and healing crystals with me, so if you get wounded, just let me know and I'll take care of you. So we can heal, I don't think we need it, but uh, he'll heal us up here if we need to. Alright, so there we go, we're ready to go. Like I said, um, you can't take him with you. I would like to, because uh, he'd be a little more helpful than Gilder, but, well, you know, we'll, we'll go with him. He's a pretty cool guy. Alright, so we are now docked on the Hydra, so let's go ahead and check this place out. We're going to be fighting our way through and uh, looking to confront Gaussian face to face. Alright, so let's, uh, this is a pretty simple layout. There's really not too much here. Um, you can see on the map, it's really just kind of this one little semicircle, but there's, uh, a couple little different nooks and crannies here you can find treasures in. The first one we want to go over here. We found an X cannon. I believe those are what we already have equipped, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, we did pick up that moon cannon, though, so we can take the, check that out. Yeah, as you can see, that's even stronger than what we already have, so that's nice. Alright, so now let's head back a little bit, and there should be a pole we can climb. Oh, there's also random battles, of course. Can't forget those. So most of what we're going to be facing in here, as you can see, is Valuan type soldiers. We've got a Defender, and uh, we've also got a few of the Assassins, which are kind of like the ones that attacked us in Crescent Isle. Um, these guys shouldn't be too much trouble. You can also see Vice's uh, sword. I think we can, yeah, we can sort of rotate a bit here. Yeah, th that one isn't too special, but the one back there is pretty cool. It's got a... Um, it's hard to see. Yeah, you can see it's kind of got some sort of inscription there, so it's pretty interesting. But, uh, okay, let's see what we've got. Um, that guy's yellow. He's probably going to be the strongest of the bunch, so we'll go for him. Um, we'll go for Silver here. Cutlass Fury will probably take him down. Um, let's see. Uh, I might just have the rest of us attack. I don't really know exactly how strong these are off the top of my head. Uh, these are blue, so green or purple. I think we're all pretty much good to go, yeah. And those attacks are so cool, they just like materialize in front of you. And Silenus, well, we're not using magic, so. And that's, yeah, Electrum's a pretty weak yellow spell. Unfortunately, it looks like most of them are faster than us, so that's kind of a pain. And yeah, they don't have too much health. I think everybody ganging up on one will probably take it down, especially because Gilder's halfway strong, at least. Ha, I love that. <laughs> Alright, let's see how it does against this guy. Alright, down he goes. Nice. So we could probably just have Vice um, and the rest of the crew take the rest of these guys down. Yeah, you can see that one's down. So we'll have Vice um, switch over to green is fine, we'll use a Reign of Swords, and we can pretty much just spam attack the rest of the time. I'm pretty sure that Reign of Swords would take him down anyway. Oh, Weblon, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, oh man, I love that damage, he's so strong. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that random battle, it, it can take a little while again. We are pretty much an end game, so the enemies are slightly strong. But um, there's no real risk of dying or anything. I mean, it's still just random battles at the end of the day. So, you know, in general RPG design, you're not really supposed to have super amounts of trouble with the random battles, so... 
Alright, so I think from here we can continue along the path. Yeah, not too much to check out here, but we do have this uh, ladder kind of leading up. Alright, so as you can see, once we climb up this, we're going to kind of end up on the deck here. Which is pretty interesting, and if you take a look at the map, we've got uh, four different ladders to go down. Of course, one of them is the one that we just came up. But uh, this is where we're going to be exploring for most of the valuables. So let's head over to this one and head down it first. Alright, so now uh, once we get in here, uh, we should be able to find... Yeah, there's a pole over here that we can slide down, so we're going to do that. Alright, and then we head up to the north, there's going to be a little alcove here, we can open this, and we'll grab three sacrolin crystals, so yeah, that's kind of nice, I guess, you know, full heals, that definitely works. And then we can uh, continue on down to this side of the walkway. It's another chest with a moonberry inside. Like, we need more of those. I think this that's the ninth one that we have just sitting around. Alright, ooh, a couple interesting enemies here. The Hydra Elite. They use kind of the same model as the Executioner from way at the beginning of the game. So, yeah, this one might be a little bit tough. It should be fun. So let's go ahead and again use the same strategy. We've got a lot of uh, SP, so we'll just use a Callus Fury. There we go. Awesome. I, again, I'm not really sure. Oh, and that one's guarding too. That's a pain. I hate when they do that. Here, yeah, focus all your attacks on one guy and he's guarding. Okay, well, they're kind of weak. Don't really do too much. Um, I do think they have some of the special attacks that the Executioner did have back in the. Uh, you know, that original battle with him. I think he has some sort of, it's like the equivalent to the Wind Slash, you know, the area of effect type thing. Now, I believe he also still has that uh, Tackle special attack. But, of course, since Vice is freakishly overpowered, we won't get to see it. <laughs> I wish they were all that easy. I'm pretty sure the version that guy has, though, is like an instant death version of it. It's, it's like Death Tackle, you know, the various different death type attacks we've been seeing. So uh, that would have been kind of annoying anyway, so I'm kind of glad we didn't see it. All right, so now that we got both of those chests, we're going to head back up to the uh, upper deck and head down one of the other ladders. So let's climb back up. Alright, so now that we're outside, we're going to take the uh, west-south one, uh, the, the second from the left. We're going to take that one next, so let's head over there. You can still hear some battles going on out there, even look up and kind of see some ships and everything, so that's pretty cool. Cannons exploding, so yeah, there's all kinds of battles going on while we're doing this. Alright, so let's climb down into the next area. I think, uh, yeah, there's an alcove over here. I don't know if we have to go... Okay, yeah, we have to, because there's no alcove on the other side. And I think we actually just got another Moonberry from that battle, too, so that marks ten that we have just sitting around. Spin around the pool a bit. <laughs> Alright, now there should be a little alcove down here that we can get another treasure chest. And, yep, this one contains two magic dews. Uh, relatively useless, but, well, a treasure chest is a treasure chest, so, you know, might as well pick them up. So we climb back up, and that's pretty much it for this uh, little section. So we're just going to go back outdoors and then take the final ladder. So let's go back up one last time. Alright, so last ladder is over here on the western part of the ship. Down we go. And we're getting pretty close to the uh, encounter with Galshin here. This is going to be the final area. I think we have like one pole to climb down and then, uh, yeah, this is going to be our ticket to get over here on this side. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Let's go a little further. Here we go. Yeah, basically the goal, as you can see, is to sort of get to that spot in the middle and this is going to be the path that leads us there. And we're going to head over here and we're going to have a battle. 
Alright, we got an accessory from that one, which I'm not entirely sure what it does. It's called the Ominous Mask. Gives a lot, ooh, a large boost to attack power and defense, but re wow, reduces the party spirit to zero. Why would you want that? <laughs> the boost isn't even that big. It's only 75 attack. I mean, the captain's hat would give Vice more. But, um, I don't know. That's interesting. Re reduces the party spirit to zero. Wow. That's it's kind of a cool one. I never even knew that existed, so hey, that's interesting. Alright, so anyway, let's continue forward into the uh, middle part of the ship here. And you can see we have a kind of a blue room. I'm not sure why it's so blue, but well, it is, I guess. And a save point, which actually almost looks kind of purplish with the whole shading thing going on here. So obviously, we've reached kind of the main part of the ship. There's a save point. You know something big's going to be coming up. So this is the uh, time you want to take some chances to heal here. We're going to use uh, Sacrum and just fix everyone up. And we're definitely going to make sure to save. Let's go ahead and overwrite this one here. Don't really know why I'm doing this on camera, but whatever. <laughs> that works. All right. So, uh, unfortunately, if you take a look at the time down there at the bottom, you can see we're uh, rapidly approaching kind of the average video length. And, of course, the encounter coming up is going to be very large with tons of scenes afterwards, which means... It's probably going to be better suited for another video. I know, Vice, you're impatient, and so am I. I want to get to it as well, but that's how things work. So next time we will continue forward in the Hydra and encounter Gaussian himself, hopefully stop him for good. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.